Today we're looking at a game called Bridge Constructor. It's a physics based game as you'll soon see, so let's do it. The whole object of this game is to bridge a gap between two road ends. As you can see in the background, this is a river and you need to bridge the gap. Uh, it has five levels. You can see I'm 59% of my way through wastelands, which is the first level. Now the first stage of this first level is a tutorial base. So you can see in the background it has three triangles and that gives us an idea of how to construct the first bridge. Now you can swipe like this to open up the menus and on the right hand side you can see I have wood and three other locked materials which I can unlock later on. Okay, let me just pull out and go to the last level I was on. Now as you can see this gap is quite large and I have wood, concrete and cable, looks like metal cable. So what I could do is try and perhaps create a cable that goes across the whole bottom, but that didn't work. So I've got wood, I can place a segment of wood there, maybe create some sort of suspension bridge, um, obviously that orange arrow left goes backwards, I mean you make a mistake. Okay, now if I push the green arrow that says play, and you can see that the wood sags and it turns red, that means that my material is under stress and will break. So if I put some cars over the top of it, there you go, you can see them crash. So I need to create some sort of framework for this bridge to work from. Now I'm going to fast forward my actions. I'm going to create a triangle system and I'll play it and show you what happens. Obviously there's still no support and it sags, so if I create the top for support, it stays intact, green along the bottom. You can see the support beams still go a little red, which means there's a bit of stress there. If I attach a metal cable, if I get it right, I'll attach a metal cable to the little yellow dot, and that should add a bit more strength. Play it and now let's see if a truck can go over top of this. A little bit of stress in some of the beams in the top, but she holds and that will be good enough to pass the level. Overall, I think the game's pretty cool. Um, I don't think it will last very long in my attention span. Possible good applications for education if you want to work on some sort of bridge construction challenge if you want to look at geometric shapes in a maths learning environment I think this probably will have a, a good use if you're interested in construction if you're interested in sort of physics based games then um, give it a try I'll add a link in the description it's a paid app and also a free app